in this repeating group we have used a filter here to uh, filter out the departments of certain customers so once we select let's say marketing it will list out all the you all the customers which have been assigned a department as marketing I have a repeating group here in my application uh, which is showing list of customer from our database if you don't know how to create this sort of repeating group don't worry I've got it covered you can watch my previous videos I have uploaded on my youtube channel and today in this video we're going to create a functionality which will allow users to filter through the list of customers so today I'm going to uh, create a filter which will filter the customer's department. We do have departments like marketing and operations here. We're going to add a functionality here uh, where users can just um, uh, just use the drop down menu to select their respective department. Okay, so let's dive into our bubble application. And let's start uh, by adding a um, drop down. Okay, this is drop down and I'm going to remove the styling. Okay, so uh, we need to add the um, option set to this um, drop down menu. So uh, before I add, the uh, add, add those things here, I would like to show you my data structure here. So I have a data type of customer and if you if you go to option set i have option set a uh, name department uh, which has following options marketing and operations so if we go to data types and check the customers um, okay so it has a field name department and which is linked to option set that we just created here we have here so okay we we want to show the departments here which we have here in option set first so let's go and mm, choice styles would be dynamic and it should be departments sorry departments sorry sorry department and choices shows should be all department and option captions should be all departments display so if we do this uh, we should be able to see our mm, option set here so let's try this out perfect so we are we, we we are able to select the department from here but if we select here nothing going to happen because still we haven't added any constraint to our database so let's go back and click on repeating group and data source customers it's good and data source should be search for customers and add a new constraint mm, constraint a department is equal to uh, what is the name of this field drop down a okay so drop down a is value okay and um, one thing to one important thing here uh, make sure you take this one because uh, i'll show you what will happen if we don't take this one first <clears throat> so if you don't take this one nothing is going to appear here because it is empty and there is no no any data or any customer matching the empty constraint here so every customer we have uh, are assigned a certain department so there's nobody with the empty department that's why it's not visible here so let's go and uh, let's take this one ignore empty constraints done and now we should be able to filter our database so see it, it's empty it's empty and now we have we've been able to see all the database here so let's try to filter out filter this out marketing well done operations wow amazing yeah so uh this is how create uh how you create a um, repeating group filter you can do multiple filters here uh like you can add a search here or maybe you can add um, uh, let's say address selection or you can add um, company filter or a lot of many things you can do with the filter functionality 
i hope this video was helpful and if you find any value in this video please do consider subscribing to my channel as this will motivate me to come up with new videos and if you have any confusion uh, about filtering um, repeating group you can just uh, comment down below i'll try to help you out thank you for watching this video guys